So this is what's happening on the homestead today. Um, I got to work on cleaning up these big brush piles that came from this mess of craziness out in our front yard. Um, so we pulled out a bunch of stuff and, woo, and now it's time to pick it up and we're going to haul it off and fill some of our gullies that we have around the property to kind of help with this erosion. So anyway, wish me luck. of one of the gullies that we have uh, here on the property. Um, this is actually a pretty uh, a pretty mild one. It's not too deep. Um, Justin has already put some branches in here. It's kind of hard to see how deep it is because he, he put in some branches, but this will kind of help keep the, um, or helps is to keep the soil and the dirt from washing away and the gully from getting deeper, um, wider, and further onto the property. So um, I'm going to take some of these shrubs and throw it on top and as it rains um, it'll catch debris and it'll start breaking down and build up more soil in that area. So I'm going to start here and then I'll drive around and um, find some other gullies to dump all this stuff in. But it's a good alternative instead of burning stuff to just kind of repair the land. Anyway, so that's it. I set it up uh, for load number two to do a time lapse and apparently I recorded it facing the wrong direction. So here is load number two. Okay, so I'm hoping that this will give you a better idea of what one of the gullies looks like. Again, uh, it's already been filled here somewhat with some brush. We're just gonna dump it right on top. You can see uh, there's the tree stump. I mean, this goes down probably about two feet deep, this gully. But if you let it continue to erode, it's going to end up eroding all the way here to our driveway. So we're going to plug this up right here. And there's a bunch of other ones on the other side that I'll probably fill in later. I'm just kind of spreading this out. So I'm going to make labor a little bit easier on myself this time. And I'm actually just going to dump it right from the ranger into the, into the gully. And I'll probably just kick it in. So anyway, wish me luck. about to happen. guys a really really good idea of uh, what kind of gullies I'm talking about again another example this is on the opposite side um, of where I was before and you can see that the previous owners had started uh, trying to uh, remedy what was going on here they put some concrete in here um, and we're gonna fill it up with uh, natural materials so that way it'll start rebuilding but you can see all these roots are exposed here um, which it shouldn't be um, so anyway, yeah, this is a more obvious place and uh, this is actually still one of the smaller ones. So anyway, load number four. I keep saying so anyway, I'll get better.
just a little bit further down um, to a spot that we haven't even touched yet. So this is what those narrow, uh, not very deep gullies can turn into. So I'm gonna start filling this one up. Here, there's some really deep spots, but an idea is where it's supposed to be. And this is what this is how much is washed out. have Justin help me with this last pile because that one does not look like fun and looks like a lot more work so we'll probably run a strap around that um, but, I'm not sure but anyway two giant piles are gone that's that I'm not even sure how long that took but it's done thanks for watching <laughs>